Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my Rainer crochet Christmas stocking. This pattern is really versatile. You can make it in any yarn that you want. Just keep in mind that if you change the yarn and hook size, it will change the size of your finished stocking. So I've put all the details in the video. So gather up whatever supplies you need to make the stocking that you want to make, and then we'll get started with the video. You'll also notice that I have included with the video all the striping instructions so just make a note of those you'll see them here in the video listed beside each stocking uh, the close-up of it so make a note and you'll just want to do those color changes as you need to make the striping that you want anyways um let's get on with the video okay so this stocking is worked from the toe up so the first thing that we're going to do is choose our accent yarns uh, whether it be cream or red or green, I'm using cream today. So I'm going to start off by chaining two. One, whoops, one, two. And then I'm going to be working six single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So that's one, two, do six single crochet in there. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Okay, and then in the next round, what we're going to be doing is doubling our number of stitches. And we're going to do that by working two single crochets in the first and each stitch around. So this is where we're going to start using our stitch markers so that we can keep better track of our rounds and how many stitches we're doing. Okay, so we're going to work two single crochet. One, two, now I'm going to slip that stitch marker into the first single crochet that I did and I'm going to continue to work two single crochets in each stitch around. Alright, so I've done that round, so let's go back and check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, perfect. So in the next round, we're going to be adding six stitches. So we're going to do that. Let's take out our stitch marker, but we'll keep it close because we're going to pop it back in. So we're going to work one single crochet, and then we're going to work two single crochet in the next. And we're going to do that pattern all the way around, but let's not forget to put our stitch marker in. So we're going to go back three stitches and put that in there. And then we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochet. And again, this is how I count in my head because it's easier for me to keep track of the pattern that I'm working rather than the number of stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this round and we should have 18. So I'm going to pause and then you can meet up with me at the end of round three. Okay, so we're at the end of round three and we just wanna count our stitches and make sure that we have 18. For the remainder of the toe, we're gonna to be increasing each round by six stitches. So I'm gonna work through every round with you, but if you wanna work ahead, that's what you're gonna do. So we wanna make sure that we have 18 stitches, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 stitches at the end of that round. So for round four, we're going to be working one single crochet into the first two stitches. So we're just going to do one and I'm going to put my stitch marker right away back in because I'm not going to forget. And then we're going to work another single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So that's how we're going to work for round four. So one single crochet in two stitches, one, two, and then two single crochet in the next. So I keep repeating that in my head. So I'm going to finish this round. We'll meet up at the end of round four and make sure that we have 24 stitches. Okay, so we completed round four. So let's make sure that we have 24 stitches when we count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 
Okay, perfect. Now for round five, we're going to be working one single crochet in the first three stitches, and then we're going to be doing two crochets in the next. So as you can see, for each round, we're adding an additional crochet at the beginning. So, so I'm going to put my first single crochet in. I'm going to pop that stitch marker in. And also, for this pattern, I should mention, it's not the same for all, but the way we're doing our increases, you're always going to be adding two stitches in where the two stitches are. So as long as you can see this two, 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 you know you're on the right path. So that's one, two, three. And now you see how I have those two stitches. I'm going to just go in there and I'm going to add my two. Okay, so you want to continue on this way, working one single crochet in three stitches and then two single crochet in the next. And I'll meet up with you at the end of the round. Okay, so we're at the end of round five and we want to make sure that we have 30 stitches at the end of this round. So we're just going to count those up. One, two, three, nine, 30. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to round six and we're going to be working one single crochet in the first four stitches and then in the next stitch we're going to be working two. So let's put our first single crochet in, slip our stitch marker back in again so we can count easily and we're going to be working one single crochet in the first four stitches. So I've done my first, that's two, three, and four then I'll be working two single crochet into the next. And we're gonna do that pattern all the way around. So I'm gonna finish working this pattern all the way around and then we'll meet up and count, make sure that we have 36 stitches. And then we'll be working one final round of one single crochet in every stitch, which is gonna keep us at the same count of 36 stitches. So if you wanna work ahead, you can do round six and seven and we'll meet up and we'll start on the foot. Okay, so I finished up round six. I have confirmed that I have 36 stitches. And now for round seven, all we're gonna be doing is working a single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm gonna finish doing that and then we'll meet up for round eight where we're actually gonna do our first color chain change as well. Okay, so we're gonna move on to round eight and this is where we actually start our texture for the pattern. So what we're gonna do is our first color change, if you are making a color change, this is where we're gonna to wanna to start it. And we're gonna do that by working into the first single crochet. I like to start my stitch and then I like to finish it with my new color of the yarn. So I'm just gonna finish that there. And then just give them a nice little tug so that they're nice and secure and we're gonna continue on. So we need to work a single crochet and a double crochet into the first single crochet. So that's actually where we worked our slip stitch. So we're gonna go back in there, we're gonna single crochet, just gonna pull that, and then we're gonna work a double crochet right into the same stitch. Then we're gonna skip the next one and we're gonna work a single crochet and a double crochet. And we're gonna to continue to do this the whole way around. Now it's really important that you skip the stitch because if you don't, you're gonna end up doubling your stitches. So skip and then two in the next stitch. So single crochet and then a double crochet. We're gonna skip, single crochet, and a double crochet. So I'm gonna work that for this complete round and then we just need to make sure that you have um, 36 stitches at the end of round eight and then I'll go on to round nine and show you where you're gonna be working, okay? Okay, so I just finished round eight and I've confirmed that I have 36 stitches. So we're gonna skip our last stitch. This is actually our slip stitch and we're gonna start working directly into our first single crochet of the next round. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth because I'm gonna be striping it every round. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So we're gonna insert there and start our first single crochet. And you wanna make sure when you're doing your stripes that you're always pulling your yarn to the back. And then we're gonna finish that stitch with the uh, cream yarn. Okay, then we're going to just do a double crochet in there. And that's our first two stitches done. So we want to just put your, your stitch marker into the first stitch. Okay, 
So just exactly like round eight, we're going to continue with round nine, skipping every double crochet and working a single crochet and a double crochet into every single crochet in the round. And at the end of round nine, we'll have 36 stitches again. So we're going to work a single crochet, double crochet, and then skip the double, single crochet, and double crochet. Okay, so we're going to continue that all the way around and I'll meet up with you at the end of round nine. Okay, so I just finished um, round nine, or almost. I'm about to do the last stitch and what I've decided to do is actually finish the last stitch of the round with my contrast yarn. So I'm going to just start working my double crochet and then before I finish it, I'm going to move my yarn to the back and I'm going to pick up my contrast yarn and finish that stitch. And the reason I'm doing that is it just makes more sense because you'll see that each stitch is completely finished in its own color. And then I'm going to I'm going to skip this double crochet and continue on working my single crochet and my double crochet into the first stitch. And that's where we will start our next round. So moving forward, all we're going to be doing is the exact same thing. Single crochet, double crochet, into the single crochet and then skip a stitch. So you're going to be working a total of 16 rounds. So again, single crochet and double crochet. Also, if you do the color changes the way I just did it, it kind of negates the need for the stitch marker because you can see exactly where your round changes. So I'm going to work all 16 rounds and then we'll meet up and we'll start the heel together. Oh my goodness. So I didn't realize that I was not recording and we missed the whole first row of the heel. So what you're going to do is find the center back seam and move over six stitches to the right. Once you're there, you're going to join with a slip stitch and work a single crochet 12 stitches across. So I'm hoping that this uh, video and pictures are going to help you to get this part done. Okay, so now that we've finished the first row, we're going to move on to row two. We're just at the end of the row here, we're going to chain one and turn. Now what we're going to be doing now is shaping the heel. So we're actually going to be decreasing by two stitches at each row. And we're going to do that by skipping the first stitch, working a single crochet across until we reach the second last stitch, which we're going to skip and we're going to work in the last stitch. This isn't usually how I would do a decrease, but it works great for the heel and honestly it is the easiest way. So that's the way we're going to do it today. So we are going to just chain one. Oops, so I've already done the chain one. So we're going to turn, we're going to skip this first stitch and then we're going to work in the second. And we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So when we're dropping two stitches, we're going to end up with eight at the end of this row. And then the next row will be six. So if you just want to go ahead on your own, you can do that, but only decrease until you end up with four stitches. Don't, don't decrease any more than that. Okay, so we add our second last stitch. We're going to skip that and we're going to work in this last, last stitch here. Also, I can see my stitch is getting a bit loose. I'm just going to give it a pull and then we'll weave that in later nice and tight. So at the end of round, sorry, I keep calling them rounds, rows, we should have 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So again, we're going to do a chain one and we're going to turn. And we're going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to go into the second and single crochet across until the second last stitch. Two. Oops, I just picked up the front loop only. I'm going to fast forward and meet up at the end of the round here. Okay, we are at the second last stitch. So we're going to skip that one and go into the final stitch. We're going to chain one and turn. 
we're going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to enter, sorry, we're going to crochet into the second. One, second. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip the second last stitch and work into the last stitch. So at the end of this row, we should have six stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So then the fifth row will be the last decrease row that we do. So you're going to chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, one, two, three. We're going to skip the second last and then we are going to, sorry, we're, we're going to skip the second last and work in the last stitch. Okay, so now at the end of row five, we should have four stitches. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now what we're going to be doing is the complete opposite. We're going to be shaping it out again. So mirroring, mirroring what we have here for the beginning of the heel. Um, and then we're going to fold it over and sew it up. So for now, let's just increase. So we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to be increasing now two stitches per row. So you're going to chain one and turn. We're going to work two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet across. But then in the last stitch, we're going to work two single crochets. Okay, so now we should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Chain one and turn. And again, we're going to work two single crochets. Sorry, this is row seven. So we're going to work two, two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we're going to work one in each across till we get to that last stitch. Then we're going to work two single crochets again. One, two. Okay. Let me just get some yarn and we're going to do that for two more rows until we are at row nine. So let's do our chain one and turn. And if you have a little bits here where it's open, don't worry too much about those. We can go in afterwards with our thread and yarn and sew those up. I find sometimes the stockings at the corners or where we might do a quick, quick increase, there might be bigger holes than others. So, but let's forge forward. Okay, so we're going to start on row seven, chain one and turn. We're going to work two single crochets into that first stitch, one across in each stitch across, and then two in the last single crochet in the last stitch. And then we should have eight at the end of round or row seven. I feel I feel like this is such a tongue twister. Okay, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, so row eight, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, and we're going to put two single crochet in the first. One, two, one in each stitch across. I'll fast forward here. And two single crochet in the last stitch. And let's just count and make sure that we have 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. One more row for the heel. We're going to chain one and turn. Two single crochet in the first. We know the drill now. And then I'm going to work one single crochet and meet up across and meet up with you for the last stitch. Okay, and we're going to put two single crochet in the last stitch. Nine and ten. So we're just going to double check our number of stitches, which should be twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to fasten off 
and we are going to leave a long tail of yarn, not too long, maybe, I don't know, I guess that's about 20 inches, probably more than I need, but we're going to leave this now because what we're going to be doing is sewing the sides of the, whoops, sewing the sides of the heel together. So this is what you should have at this point. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is sewing the the heel together. We do that by folding the heel right sides together and then we're going to sew down each side. So we'll just start with this. And this is, you're going to need your yarn needle now or your tapestry needle or your darning needle, or what other names are there for a needle? Okay, so we're just gonna sew up the sides here. We're gonna try and make those match up as good as we can. And you can just pretty much use any stitch that you want. Although, I prefer just to sort of go back and forth like this. I find when you when you open up the heel or you fold the heel over, it's just a tidier look than, say, something like a whip stitch. Okay, so to carry my yarn over so I don't have to fasten off, I just do a little cheat here, and I put it just right across the bottom of the heel like this. And this just carries my yarn over to the other side. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep kind of slipping off camera there. Okay, so now we're at the other side. We want to just make sure that these line up nicely and we'll start going back and forth. Did you think the heel was going to be this easy? It's pretty easy, eh? It's quite a mystery when you look at them completed, but when you start actually working it, you realize how simple it is. Okay, and we're just gonna crochet this last one here. Or sorry, see, it's the tongue twister again. Just gonna sew this up here. Okay, now before I fasten off, I just wanna double check that I like the look of the heel. But you see, there it is, right there. It kinda looks like a little monkey mouth. <laughs> All right, and so what I'm gonna do on this side is I'm just gonna tie these off in a little knot and then at this point um, you can either weave in your ends or we can flip it inside out at the end and do them all at once, okay? And there's the hardest part of the heel done and it wasn't even hard. So let's just snip that off. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the leg of the stocking, but before we do that, we want to make sure that we still have 36 stitches. So something that's going to be pretty important is deciding what stitches we're going to work into when we start working around the heel part. So what I have done is I've located my very first stitch of the heel and I've done that by looking for the stitch where I placed my two single crochets and I've marked the first one here. So that's going to be a stitch that we work into. And then I've gone on to the foot part and I've also marked the last stitch of the foot before we start the heel. So I'm going to be working into that stitch. I'm not going to be working in here and we'll deal with that after, and I'm gonna work into the first stitch of the heel. Now we're gonna go around, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we'll see where we put the two single crochets. I've marked my very last stitch of the heel, and then I have marked my very first stitch of the foot here. Again, this isn't a, a double crochet because it's caught by a stitch in my heel. So I'm gonna work into this stitch and my first single crochet here, okay? So the next part of the pattern says with the right heel facing, count six stitches from left to right and join your yarn there. So we're gonna start again because we have the green stripe here, we're gonna be jarn ugh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be joining with the wheat color. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna join here and with a slip stitch, and then I'm gonna chain one. Okay, 
So now we're going to start the rounds of the leg and we're going to be working the same pattern as we did before. So we're going to be working the single crochet and the double crochet and I'm going to start that right where we did the chain one. So we're going to go in we're going to do our single crochet and our double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to skip, we're going to do our single crochet and we're going to work our double crochet. And we're going to skip the next stitch, we're going to do the single crochet and we're going to do the double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to skip, hang on a second, we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to be working into this stitch where the stitch marker is. Single crochet and double crochet. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is skipping over this area here and we're going to be working into the single crochet that we'd had our stitch marker in. So we'll work our single crochet and our double crochet. Okay, and you're going to have some gaps here, so what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to go in with our yarn and our tapestry needle and we're going to close those off. We're going to take a few stitches wherever we see any little holes and close those up. Okay, so we're going to skip the double crochet and work in the single crochet. Whoops. Single crochet, double crochet. So we're going to do that for the rest of this round, but what I'll do is um, we can work across these stitches on our own because they're very basic, but I'll meet up with you when we hit the next corner where the heel joins the foot and we'll work that part together. Okay, so just continue on working single crochet and double crochet in the single crochet. Okay, so I finished crocheting around the foot of the stocking and I'm going to be skipping this last double crochet here and then working into my first single crochet of the heel. So we'll continue on there and don't worry we're going to come back and close those up. So that's single crochet, double crochet, and then we're going to skip the next stitch, work into this stitch here, single crochet, double crochet, and then we're going to join to our first single crochet here and we will change to our second color again. But before we continue on, I'm going to just go around and make sure that I do have 36 stitches in total. Okay, so I'll slip that in there. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Oops, sorry. <laughs> What is that crazy woman doing? 32, 34, 36. So that's perfect. We have the same amount as we have on our foot part. So moving forward, we're going to be working the same pattern as we did for the foot. We're just going to be working a single crochet and a double crochet in every other stitch around and we're going to be changing our yarn colors every round. So if you want to leave me here and continue on your own, that's great and we can meet up to just finish it off or if you want to come along with me I'll do the next round with you and we'll just make sure that we're following the same pattern. Alright so I'm just gonna work I'm gonna tie these in a little knot it's probably easier that way so they don't keep slipping out like I said we're gonna weave those in at the end anyways okay so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna make my single I am having a tough time today. I'm going to work my single crochet and my double crochet. I am going to skip my next stitch and I'm going to work a single crochet and a double crochet. Single crochet and double crochet. So I'm going to work that all the way around and we'll meet up at the end of this round. Um, and just keep looking at your stitches because we're going to be going just across this little area that might give you a little bit of pause. Just make sure you're working in your single crochets and you'll be fine. All the pattern will work out perfectly. Okay, skip my double, go in there and work my single 
And again, don't worry about those little holes where the heel meets the rest of the stocking. We are going to fix those up perfectly at the end. So skip your double, go into your single. Okay, so I'll meet up with you at the end of this round. We'll just double check that we still have 36 stitches and then we'll keep going. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my second round of the leg and we're at the corner here. I have worked in my single crochet. I'm going to be jumping over my double and working back into my single. Okay. So after this round, I'm going to leave you and then we will meet up at the end to just finish off the top of our stocking and go in and uh, weave in all our ends and fix the corner of the heel here. Okay, so I'm going to work in here and I'm just going to do my next color change. Okay, so it's coming together. Let me just lay it out. Look at that. It's taking shape. This is like a massive stocking. Okay, so now that we've finished round two of the leg, we're just going to go on and work the same pattern until round 18. And then we'll meet up and finish it off. Okay, so now we are almost done. The last thing that we're going to be doing is the band at the top, the hanger, and then going back and closing the holes from where the heel is. So I can show you how to do that. If you're not sure, stick with me. But for now, we're going to finish the top of the stocking working four rounds of single crochet all the way around. So you know how to single crochet by now. I'm going to finish those up and then we'll come back and we'll do the hanger together. Okay, so I've just finished my four rounds and I have fastened off. Now the last thing that we're going to be doing is our hanger. Now because of the way this texture is and the way we work the rounds, you'll see that our center back seam actually has moved. So it's almost like a side seam now. So what you wanna do is just lay the stocking flat so that the heel is here and then follow up to find your center back seam. And all that we're gonna be doing is just joining the yarn roughly at the center back here and we're gonna chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna go right back in to where we joined and just do another slip stitch and fasten off. So the last thing that we need to do now for the stocking is to just weave in all our ends and close those holes. So what we're going to want to do now is flip the stocking so that the inside is on the outside. So I'll do that and then meet up with you. Okay, so you can see here I have a lot of ends to weave in, but I want to particularly show you here where we were looking working on the heel and we had that hole there. So if you don't have ends left, you can just get a fresh piece of yarn and knot it and then just stick your hand through to find that hole there just focus there and you can just weave back and forth now try to stay within the same color stitch because then you might see your stitches on the other side but you can see here i am just going back and forth and that's going to close that hole off nicely and you're going to want to do that on the other side of the heel as well. So just go through and weave off all your ends and you're pretty much done. Now the pattern on the blog includes um, if you want to make pom-poms and hang those. I'm not including them in this video because I think most people know how to make the pom-poms. Um, but that's it. It's pretty much done. So uh, if you have any questions, post them below. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and Merry Christmas to you all. Take care for now. Bye-bye.